Every new company is an, by necessity a global play. Uh, exactly because it is a lean by nature, which means that if you focus on a particular part of the business because this is where you are best at, you necessarily mean the others. And those others are very often outside of your country, especially um, in a country like Denmark, which is a very small country and you cannot pretend that you have all the market in your own country. So it's a very practical and existential uh, issue for our students, but it's also, I, I believe, really a very interesting research, uh, research topic because it relates the lean phenomenon, which is emerging more, more, more and more intensively, to the born global phenomenon, uh, which is really about early uh, internationalization of new startups. Well, we, we first wanted, to, we, we had several exploratory lenses. And one of the ideas of the lean startup approach is that uh, uh, companies are not designing a, a business model, they're looking for one. So it's a kind of an emergent process where you try to figure out which pieces you need and you try to find them all. So we try to see if this is happening exactly in sta startups. And by trying to invent your business model, the question was, what makes you go and find a partner, not in Germany, which is across the border, but in Brazil, which is in another continent? Uh, and uh, we have, what, 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 what we have found out is that uh, um, many of the companies need to struggle locally before they go, go abroad. And from the beginning I said, well, pe people don't learn, you know, they know that they have to go global, but they keep staying home. But at the same time, staying a little bit home to make the things run running is part of the lean approach. So it, it makes sense for companies to try things out and, on an experimental basis before they kind of across the, the continent and go into another one. Another thing that we found out that, that uh, uh, some of the companies, especially the startups that are from academia, they don't pivot. They have a value proposition that's kind of a predefined from the beginning. So all the, the modifications are happening on the way you deliver the value proposition and not so much on the value proposition, which was the case in Denmark. In Canada, it was exactly the opposite. There were many variations of the value proposition. And what we found, found out is that actually the, the mentoring programs and the su business supporting mechanisms were motivating people to explore different opportunities in order to help them monetize as quick, quick as 